Hey DNA family, welcome back. Today we're interviewing Morgan and Jeff on their couple of Mustangs. Stay tuned. Now we're gonna take a look at the Blue Cobra. Why don't you tell us about this one? So I originally seen these cars when I was like 13 years old at the dealership. And the okay. Sonic Blue and everything, I had to have one. Yeah, what year? Oh, three. Oh, three. So, okay. Yeah, I was 13 years old when they were new. Oh, it was a dream car of mine for a long time. Just kind of wanted something that, you know, came, they came with Supercharger Factory. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it made a lot of power. And at this time in my life, I didn't really know what I was doing whatsoever. So yeah. it made, I think they were rated for like 390 horsepower. And, you know, you could buy it and make pretty good power, not have to build it, you know? Yeah. And so I bought that from the original owner uh, down in Dearborn area. Okay. Uh, he worked for Ford and actually, uh, I believe, built built these cars on the line. Okay. And so I found an auto trader and went and picked it up. You know, it was completely stock, original tires, had uh, 30,000 miles on it, I believe. Nice. Yep. So I've had it since 2013. Okay. And it's been a snowball ever since. Yeah. So originally just the eating, you know, and then doing exhaust, okay. lowering it. At first, you know, I watched the snake bite video that the Kenny Bell Cobra, you know, so, and that's what I wanted. I just wanted it slammed with the IRS and being able to make 600 horsepower and that's all you'd really need. And then, yeah. so I did, I went to Lydio at Alternative Auto and he put a Kenny or a Whipple on it, okay. a two nine Whipple. And uh, that was good for a while. And then eventually I wanted to go off into the turbo world and it's had multiple different combinations of single turbo and then now as what you see the twin turbo nice now that two-step you did earlier in the video how the heck did you do that so with a six-speed manual transmission there's no load on it so okay it, it will it'll only make like half a pound of boost hitting just a normal rev limiter okay and so <clears throat> with boost builder on the holly efi it will pull 10 degrees of timing once it sees 0.2 pounds of boost. So what you're seeing there um, when it starts um, banging and popping and stuff is it's uh, igniting when the exhaust valves are open. Okay. And therefore all that energy is going into the turbos. Okay. And that there was 10 pounds of boost. Holy crap. So that it's pretty violent, but <laughs> it does the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was awesome that's a crowd pleaser yeah that's kind of one reason why i went back to the stick shift stuff is okay with six speed you know you can cruise out in the street more comfortably than the power glide okay and i didn't really want to cut this car up and make it too much of a race car being that it's an original 03 cobra and sure sure i kind of wanted to build another race car so i figured i put this back to a six speed as they came with a six speed and uh the anti-lag um, two-step popping you know and then yeah. just the excitement of the stick shift racing kind of sure. excited me to get back D into the it. the old school yeah now i'm still pretty new into it you know i last time i drove a six-speed car was when this made 600 horsepower and then i jumped back into this and it's making like 1400 1400 so, yeah so it, fourth time out it went 860 at 170 i think that pass was like 171 miles an hour okay 860 so that's with the six speed um it's got adjustable clutch in it though and everything so it's very hard to just go out there and kill it right away i'm hoping to get down in the bottom eights if not high sevens this year okay so, can we take a look at the inside absolutely so i did the team z 850 cert cage in it oh wow okay so it still has heat and so it has heat in it. Uh, let's see. It has heat. Oh, what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> Too much wiring going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You got heat in it. Air conditioning obviously is out of it. Air conditioning is out of it. It does have heat still. Um, the transmission is a Liberty Gears face plated T56 Magnum. Okay. Uh, the clutch, like I stated, is an adjustable ram um single centered um iron clutch so it's got counterweights on it and everything you can adjust for lock up okay it's pretty in-depth stuff my buddy brian crane's into this kind of stuff and has steered me in the direction to try to go fast with the six speed so yeah for sure no that's i mean that's awesome everybody's got their own ideas yep. to do with their cars and it's just it's just unique and awesome in the motoring world what everybody wants to do mm -hmm. and try and I like to see the cage because if you're going yeah. fast, you never know what's going to happen, especially with those kind of speeds. And this is actually still an iron block 
too. So it's the Romeo iron block that came original in the car. Okay, so you got the original so it, block in yeah, the vehicle. Yeah, didn't, I didn't use the Texid block. Um, at the time, I couldn't find one for one, but uh, and it's held up really well. You know, it's got the it's got four it's got the updated nine thread four valve heads on it. So okay. they're ported by liver noise. They got uh, Todd Warren cams. Okay. Um, it's the factory crank in it too. Oh, the, nice. The original crank in it. Uh, it's got Molnar billet rods, diamond pistons. So it's not really anything too crazy to make 1400 horsepower. I mean, off the shelf parts. Off the shelf parts and some boost, huh? Yeah, what, uh, 31 what, pounds. I was just gonna ask yeah. you that. What you know? Approximately, what, it's, it's trapped the best of 174. Okay. That was about 31 pounds of boost, 12 degrees of timing, and pump 85. Wow. Right from BP. Okay. Well, isn't that something? Now, what kind of wheels and tire setup you running? So I actually mix and match right. <laughs> That's fine. I got, I got uh, weld um, front runners on it. Okay. And then uh, I got built specially rears. The rears are wind lights, um, 15 by 10. Okay. 17 by four and a half front. Running ET Street? Yeah, it's a um, Radial Pros. Okay. Yep, 275 Radial Pro. Perfect. I see, I noticed you got a uh, parachute on the back too. Huh? Yep, yep. I bought a lot of stuff from DNA actually. The whole entire fuel system and stuff. Okay. Is all supported from DNA. Yeah, what fuel system are you running? Four Innovations. Oh, nice. Triple pump, triple okay. four, uh, 475s. Absolutely. Dash 10 feed line. Okay. Holly, uh, 160 pound injectors. Okay. Yeah, you got to feed the beast. Mm -hmm. Do you use the chute at all, or just at the yeah, track? Yeah, just at the yeah at the track. I'll have to. I mean, I I have had it not open on accident and it stopped, but it's got the original <laughs> Cobra brakes on it, which <laughs> might need to get upgraded pretty soon. But they will stop it at 170. Okay. You but you'll be laying on them. Yeah, no, I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> Yeah, once you start going yeah, out, yeah. running 31 pounds of boost. Yeah. Unbelievable. It can get kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, anything can happen at that power level, you know? Sure. So no, every, not every, anything. Every bolt that could possibly be loose, <laughs> you got to make sure it's tightened before going on the track. Going 170 miles an hour is no joke. No. <laughs> I've never been At gone. least, you know. Yeah, I've never gone that fast. There's always someone faster, but. Oh, well. There's. To me, that's fast. So and it's I've kinda, never it's, gone that fast. Having so, a yeah, family yeah. and stuff, it's like a lot to think about. Yes. You don't want a mistake to happen. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Any other future plans or? Honestly, I'm kind of done with it. I'm just going to maintain it. Okay. Uh, the short blocks kind of worrisome. I mean, it's exceeding the what they say it should be making. So okay. I might have to do an texted block build. Um, but I want to maintain the streetability and uh, the, how the car represents itself right now. Sure. It's a fun, pretty fast stick shift car. I'm going to build it. I got another car that I'm going to build, okay. you know, a 25 cert, uh, 25 five or some sort of funny car cage and small block forward. Okay. Single turbo. So I'm going to leave this one how it is. Yeah. And just maintain it. Absolutely. I mean, the, the, the 0304 Cobra it's just getting rarer and rarer every year. The prices on them are outrageous. Yeah, completely outrageous because, again, they're just getting, you can't get your hands on them no more. It's not like they make them. So what exists, exists. And, you know, every summer someone's out drag racing, ruining more of them. Yep. So it just gets uh, harder and harder to find a good, good quality, nice overall vehicle like yours. Yep. You know, there's no dents, there's no dings, there's no scratches, there's no nothing. A lot of people actually can't believe I did all this to an 03 Cobra, but it was yeah. kind of like my dream car and I kind of want, you know, watching YouTube and talking to other guys in, in this kind of passion, you know, and they, what they built, I just, you know, I was kind of like, whatever, you know? Yeah. It's, I didn't want to take it away totally and cut it all up, so I didn't, you know, but don't have the IRS no more. It's got a solid 8 axle in it, you okay. know, and, tubular front suspension with manual brakes and all that but it makes it easier to work on it absolutely so i had to trade for some comfort for you know some speed be, yeah and being able to work on it easy you know i popped head gaskets in it uh, a year or two ago and luckily you know i didn't have that brake booster i pulled the head off in one day no problem didn't have to pull the brake booster out of the way and stuff which for a smaller guy it's easy to get in there and underneath the dash and all that but uh -huh. it's kind of a pain in my opinion yeah yeah when you're tall. taller yeah absolutely so. and that is one nice thing that you do have in this engine bay you know the modern vehicles you know they're just they're stuffed like a pig under here yeah you can't get to nothing and 
this vehicle you can get around the engine here I yeah mean, we wire tucked it you know the the brake i took the abs module and all that threw it out because it's manual brakes yeah and then i rewired it um to the starter it all goes along here with the brake lines in front of the core support oh. so there's no wires getting burned from all the popping and banging turbo pipes getting hot you know and yeah injector wires and everything and the fuel lines go underneath the intakes try to just clean it up a little it's, bit it's very clean it's very very clean try to be a show car fast yeah. car street yeah. car race car you know whatever you want to call it yeah your baby yep absolutely you did a great job thank you i appreciate you uh, letting us come out and uh, see your vehicle man i yeah, really yeah. do yeah absolutely and uh, i can't wait to see more of it hopefully dna uh, our dna family out there too you know uh when you go out to Milan, make sure yeah. you let us know we'll come out there and we'll have a fun day and yep. watch this thing go down the track try to get down the low eights yeah absolutely hey dna family please don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you later